Welcome to another CodeIgniter wizard demo, where we'll be creating a new web application from scratch using the famous Sample Sequila Movie Database. CodeIgniter wizard is at version 1.3 at the time of this recording, and for the first time, we'll be demonstrating the app running on macOS Big Sur. Version 1.3 introduced a new feature using which you can now create data tables and list views, with server-side processing, pagination, as well as searching and filtering, lazy loading data via Ajax. In a previous video, I had prepared a sample movie database called Sequila, fresh from my SQL developer website. In this video, I'll first enter the credentials for this schema in CodeIgniter Wizard, and then start making a new application using this database. Here, I'm first entering a custom name for this database, which I can distinguish later when selecting the connection name in CodeIgniter Wizard. Next, I'll enter the standard credentials that will be needed by the PHP application I'll create in a moment. I'll also test the connection now, to be sure the MySQL server is online and accessible by this client. Connection is successful. Now I can save it here and then move on to start creating the web application. I'll call it Sequila Movies. And select the database I just defined, here. As for the front-end CSS framework now, I have two options, but I'll stick with Bootstrap 4. Lastly, I'll specify a folder path, which will be the location of all the generated files. Then click Save. Now in this screen, I'll click the button labeled Setup Folder Structure, and config files for the boilerplate part of my web app to be generated right away. Now I can go ahead and create a module. Here, our module will be based on the film table on our database, which keeps information about the movies themselves. I'll uncheck this, because I want the generated view files to use standard HTML tags. And I'll check this one off, to get a RESTful controller with Ajax capabilities for the lazily loaded list views I mentioned before. I can see that the wizard has recognized a foreign key relationship between films and languages, and it automatically set to create drop-down select menus that will be dynamically populated from the language table. And then there's this rating field. It looks automatically set to become a series of radio buttons with options from the MySQL enum column defined statically. Finally, I want the last update field excluded from the form entry, as its data will be filled in automatically, and I'll click generate code and close. After the module is created, I also need to create the languages module, because the film table has a joint relationship with the language table. I'll uncheck last update to exclude it from forms, as well as use backend framework's own form helpers for view generation, then I'll just go ahead and generate this module. Finally, I can publish all modules to finish up my web application. I'll have its folder revealed in the finder, and then, open it in the terminal command line. Here, I'll first check the PHP version with PHP-V. We have PHP 8, which we had installed in another video on this channel. Now our brand new web application is being served with this version of PHP at localhost 8080, running on our local web server. Now I'll switch to the web browser and open this address to see the web app in action.